Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. And on this episode, I'll be talking about Dragon Quest, your story. It's a Netflix movie. It's based on a video game, Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest is an RPG. It's a lot of different Dragon Quests. I've played a few of them before and never probably finished them because it takes a long time. Uh, but this movie really dives into the video game aspect. It honestly opens up in a video game. Like top down, you're following the characters around, and it's giving you a little background, um, you know, background of the story. So it's it's a different type of opening for a movie, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And you're following Luca and his dad, and they're trying to rescue Luca's mom. She's captured by this, you know, wizard bad guy, and probably like the first three or five minutes, it's like video game, like it looks like a video game, and they're going around, and then it opens, and you see Luca training, and it looks. It looks different. The animation is very video gamey. And I was like, that is pretty cool. I like it. I like the way it looks. I like the aesthetics. And you see Luca training and then eventually his father dies and it's up to him to try to save his mom. And they're looking for the one. And he's supposed to essentially have this magical sword to help, you know, rescue the mom. And you see Luca go through his training regimen and, and, you know, they they have the montage and everything. And during the montage, you see him fighting bad guys. And again, they keep it like the video games. Like when you play RPGs or something like that and or any any certain type of video games where you fight the bad guy. And when you defeat them, coins come out or treasure or, you know, or items. It actually shows that in this game. He's going through dungeons. And he's defeating enemies and coins are coming out. And he's like, okay, this one gave me a lot of coins. Or this one gave me a good treasure. And it's really cool seeing that. Really cool seeing them play into the aspect of a video game. And as Luca grows up, he gets, you know, these different abilities. Um, he learns magic. He has um, this blob that's his friend. And then he has like a tiger. And they walk around fighting bad guys. Trying to figure out how to save his mom. And then it takes a twist. He gets a family. Um, time passes. And you're like, what is going on? And the, the your story part is very important to this movie. And it's very important to pay attention to the things that's happening in this movie. Because there's like twists and turns that I was not expecting. And I was like, oh, this is this is really well done. This is really cool. And as Luca grows up and he's trying again to save his mom and he's failing um, a lot, um, he eventually has a son and the son is trying to save the father and the grandmother. It, and it's just like, it really pulls you in into the characters. And it's it's a fun, it's honestly a fun animated movie. It's a fun video game movie, even if you never played Dragon Quest before. And you see the quest that they go on and you see the twist and the turns that the movie takes. And, and it's like, wasn't expecting that. I like that. I like the way that they did this. And I, I enjoyed it. By the end of it, I was like, that was better than I expected. Because I just put the movie on thinking, eh, it's another video game movie animated. I just watched one. I just reviewed one. I'll put the link in the description for that. And I was like, this is different. Again, based on video game, based on RPG, just like the previous uh, movie, Nino Kuni. And it's like, this is done totally different. And I really like it. So check it out. It's called Dragon Quest, Your Story. And you, if you pay attention, you'll see why it's your story. But thank you for listening. Check out some other videos that I have. Deuces.